someone's not being honest with you. Well, more like they're trying to cheat you. And it's costing you money. You know that pay TV company? The gatekeepers to your news and entertainment? Yeah, those guys don't think you're paying attention. Let's look at some numbers. They make over $100 billion per year selling you TV. Now you're paying as much as $1,800 for an annual pay TV subscription, mostly for channels you don't even watch. They've introduced new equipment rental fees and excessive early termination fees that punish consumers for switching providers. All they've done is fatten their already fat wallets. Over the past five years, many of America's top pay TV companies' stocks have risen by more than 250%. Wow. Yet they refuse to fairly negotiate with your local broadcast TV stations to compensate for their efforts to provide programming, the very programming you watch the most. Here's a graph. See, this is what you watch. This is what you pay for. Not very honest, huh? Speaking of graphs, take a look at this. According to Consumer Reports, cable rates are increasing at nearly triple the rate of inflation. Holy cow, these guys are raking in more green than a lawn service. Ironically, they want you to believe they care, but wait, listen to this. Providers are also padding customers' bills with excessive equipment charges. In 2015, Time Warner Cable increased its somewhat hidden modem leasing fee from $6 to $8. That's a 33% increase, and it was the second increase in less than a year. Now that's just greedy, right? Cable operators make an eye-popping $19.5 billion per year from leasing video set-top boxes, an outrageous fee you'll pay as long as you have their service. But don't try calling them about it. The pay TV industry is notorious for having the worst customer service in America. So they're piling up money bags. But when it comes to providing local broadcasting, like storm warnings, alerts, or events that directly affect you, they scream foul and refuse to pay fair value for the signal. Now they are seeking special treatment from federal regulators. Come on. But hey, all they care about is their money. So tell your pay TV company to stop holding your local channels hostage. Tell them you want to know what's happening in your area, in real time. It just could be the broadcast message that saves your family. If you're tired of pay TV companies' high prices and terrible customer service, take a stand. Visit tvfreedom.org for more information and take action.